so this is a run and gun kind of video what I've got here is my tablet um, it's not the complete size of the instrument cluster uh, but it definitely works for now and it works for testing purposes uh, so basically I've got my OBD2 as you can see it's going crazy because it's connected and then I'm using real dash and I'm thinking I might get a Bluetooth one that has a higher refresh rate because if I rev you'll see here it's kind of lagging a little bit but the idea here is since this is real dash uh, I can go to gallery um, I can cover this a little bit better there you go so that is working but so far I'm liking real dash and this is an old old tablet and it runs pretty well I mean, if I can do it, it'll look really nice. I'm gonna try to take this apart, see how much room I have. You know, if, if I have to, I could always get another dash. There's always Impala part, uh, parts cars out there. All I really have to do is maybe invest a little more in a nicer uh, high refresh rate one there. Uh, this has actually got HDMI, uh, mini HDMI. Uh, it's got regular USB, it's got audio. I won't be using the audio there, but basically uh, what I've seen other guys do is you have this turn on and off with charging events. It's gonna use its internal GPS for location, that's how it's got that. And then uh, this will give it its speed and stuff. And that's all you really need for this. I wanna be able to customize it. All right, so it is daytime. The splitter looks pretty nice. A lot of work to be done. Uh, basically, right now, what I'm doing, took this out. The way you take this out is there's a bolt there, the two there, and right there, and then there's going to be two clips. The rest can you can pull out pretty easy, but these two clips here are a pain. You're going to have to pry pretty hard. Also, for this tab, when you're reaching under there, uh, it's this side. I believe the one closest on the inside is the one you pull. And as for in here, look at all that space. My tablet fits perfectly, but I don't want any like weirdness with the engine. So what I'm gonna do, and I did measure this out, as long as your tablet's about under half an inch thick, you have that plugged in, it should be okay. I think it'll fit. I'll probably try to like make some, some kind of cover for it when it's all done, but right now I'm just like prototyping uh, if this works, it'll be great, but uh, but that's where I'm at right now. I also still want to be able to uh, see warning lights, airbags, all the, all the other fun stuff. Granted, with the OBD2 that was working earlier in the, in the first half of this video, I mean, I can still clear codes and do all the other stuff. I just don't want extra check engine lights because harnesses aren't plugged in. So, I'm super excited, but look at this. Where's the tablet at? I think I put it in the back seat. There's that. I can go into detail on that real quick. It, everything's just connected with clips. There's no screws in this at all, except for one, two, three, four. Everything else, like I said, is clipped in. These little holes are where the clips are at. You just push them in and pull. It's kind of loose, but when it's all together, it's pretty good. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing to put the tablet in, this uh, kind of gray looking part, I measured it. You have about half an inch clearance up here and about uh, an inch and a half to two inches down in the bottom and that's like perfect for the tablet so I'm gonna try to get that set up so I'm gonna take this top half off put the tack back into the casing but keep it nice and low and once it's clipped into that bottom casing it'll be pretty sturdy it'll just be I have to keep the tablet separate or separated from actually touching the needles and stuff so I'll probably use some like double-sided tape you know, kind of is like a vibration buffer, physical buffer. The tablet reaches from about here to here. So I'll probably, you know, get some, uh, you know, transparent plastic or something, spray paint it black, then gloss it over and kind of try to contour that. But right now it's just uh, prototyping. And I did order a second uh, uh, instrument cluster on eBay. I don't want to screw around with the original. The eBay one comes from an SS, so if you look at that guy over there, it's kind of bland looking. The SS will look a little better. I'll probably replace the front uh, panel with the SS one just to make it look a little nicer. 
at least the stock one, but I'll try to run this so I can set this up and continually have that. That would be super cool. I mean, if you just look at that, I mean, it looks weird, but I didn't measure any of this before I tried. So to see that it fits like perfectly, I mean, yeah, just, just look at that. Now granted, when I put that in, it's gonna be close to about here, but still, and then I'll be able to put that front face on and it will look sweet. All right, so let me explain where I'm at. Basically, this is how it's gonna work. Uh, I got two things of uh, like double-sided foam tape behind there so the needles don't touch. Uh, it's like the perfect amount of space. It's nice and tight already, but there's these holes, right? And there's the fuel gauge and that's kind of needed and all, but uh, I'm getting to that. Uh, I'm gonna cover these holes with some plastic and some wrap. So basically I got, I got this from a, I mean, it sounds cheap because it is, but you know, it's DIY. This is from a keyboard box. This was the plastic cover over the keyboard. And what I did is I traced that plastic with the Sharpie around the corners so I, oh, so I could contour the, uh, the side there. And then I had some wrap. This is the best like deal I've ever got, and I'm gonna clean it off, but this is the stuff that I used on the fender and the trunk and the interior. Like, and it was free if I remember, because I got some deal on Wish. If you can find this stuff dirt cheap, get it. It comes in handy so many times. I've wrapped more than just my car too. Handy stuff. Anyways, so then I placed it on there, got all the bubbles out, and what I'm gonna do is, the reason those pieces of plastic are so much bigger than these is because I traced that other part I showed you. So basically, I'm not gonna attach it to the tablet, but I'm gonna put those pieces of plastic behind here where my fingers are reaching and I'm just going to tape those down uh, up here and around so when I place it and I have with a little bit of sharpie I marked where the tablet is right I marked those and that's where I'm going to line it up so it'll be seamless and I'll just have the tablet and I'm only missing a little bit of you know what is that like less than two inches up here and uh the fuel gauge, what I'll probably do, uh, and I might not even, you know, need to uh, do anything. It might be bright enough at night, who knows. But I'll probably mark it and open it because this doesn't work with the fuel gauge. OBD2 doesn't send that. And that is like the big thing that I need. Other than that, all the engine codes go to OBD2. It'll just be much, much nicer for dirt cheap. This is an old tablet, and I think I paid six bucks for the, uh, the tachometer. Because uh, within their app, they have premium ones, and they're definitely worth it if you're going to do this. I mean, you can use the free ones if you just want the gauges over here, but so that's that. We'll get back to this when I have that installed. I'm going to pull this off one more time, put those on, and then we should be really close to good to go. Alright, so here we are. This guy here, just connected, and it's loading. Please focus. Please, God Almighty. There we go. Alright, so let's do a quick little drive with this. That's, uh, that's what she looks like. So what I can also do, then if you want to go into the track display, you need lap times, music, we'll go into map. If it wants to work. And we'll tap this guy, so we got that. There we go. Alright, so we're in drive. Now we're moving. Throw my fog lights. I will say it makes it feel a lot newer. I don't really know where all my information's at, but Gears seem about right. Let's give it a little tap. Go back to that. Let's see, is the map adjusting? I think I need a brake job, by the way. 
No, so the map isn't working. We'll just tap you and put you on a trip. But yeah, no, it, uh, it looks pretty good. And also, I'll do this so you can see the speed. Uh, it seems pretty accurate. All right, well, <clears throat> it's about two days later. Here's the final product. Uh, it's nice and sunny out, or there's daylight at least. Um, but yeah, so I got that. I got that, lots of Android. A lady driving by real slow. But this is really nice. You know, I like it a lot so far. Um, I wish it was a little longer and took up the full uh, area. I can fix that later with getting a longer display and then using a little Windows computer that runs the same software. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy with it. This, this is great. I just have to figure out how to get some of the other stuff to display on the main computer. But yeah, I mean, this is this is it. The things that I want to get to display are things like uh, fuel, uh, fuel range, That's about it really. Maybe tire pressure. I can figure all that stuff out. Uh, you know, it does work. Uh, you saw the video before at night of the uh, the drive around. So yeah, it's that. If you want to see more of it, more things like this, just let me know. <laughs>